Morning you guys, it's Karen and I have got a very small flower cosmetic haul. I've only got four items here but I wanted to just kind of dip my toe in the water with them and see what I thought of the quality and these are the four things that I picked out in Superdrug. That's where I found them but I found them in the Superdrug in Edinburgh. Um, none of my local Superdrugs seem to do the flower line but you can obviously get it online. Um, so the first thing I picked up, I'm wearing all of these today by the way, is the Warrior. I think this is called Glitter Eyeshadow. So it's a cream eyeshadow and this looked to be in the kind of taupe colour that I was looking for. I was about to swatch it. Will I? I'll swatch it. Yeah, just so you can see the colour. Not on my eyes, but that is what I've got on my eyes today. So that's the colour there. Um, and I'd heard all good things about this makeup line. So... Um, yeah, I was excited to try it and I really like this, I have to say. It's a shame that I don't love any of the other colours. The other colours are just, to me, they're very much the same as colours that I already have, even in, you know, I've got some cream shadows by, or some liquid shadows by Huda Beauty. But I think if I'd have discovered these first, I may not have got the Huda Beauty ones. These would be a good Huda Beauty um dupe except that the hooded ones have have a matte and a metallic one um, but no this is really nice it stays put I think it looks really nice I think it's quite understated I was a bit concerned about the fact that it said glitter because obviously nowadays with covid you don't have any testers and I was like you know I don't want it to be too glittery glitter the word glitter often puts me off sparkly is fine shiny is fine metallic is fine but I don't want anything too glittery and I don't want something that's gonna fall out a lot you know um but this it's just the right amount of glitter, I think. It's just the right amount of sparkle. It doesn't um, fall out. You know, you've not got it, your face covered in it because remember, I used to love the Stila, I can never remember the name of them, but they're in about a similar size tube, but it was square. And um, the Stila, very, very much like this. Again, this would be a dupe for those. But literally I had glitter all over my face whenever I used those and that bothered me, um, but I, I haven't with this. So this one is really, really good so far. And I will have another look at the colours next time I'm in Edinburgh and see if there's anything that takes my fancy or see if they've come out with anything new. Next, I bought the eyeliner pencil because I'm curious now. I now have two really good waterline liner pencils. So I can put this in my upper. I've also got it in my lower today. I don't often do that, but today I've got it in my lower waterline. Um, the one from Milk Makeup was great, but then do you remember I tried the Beauty Bay one, which was good, and so I wanted to see how this compared. This is also really good. It goes on lovely and intense. You know, it's not one of those, like it's soft. You don't need to drag it across your waterline. It goes on with a nice color, which is really, really important to me. This I've tried a lot where you just can't get enough color, you know, or you feel like you're dragging your eyes. And obviously, you're not really supposed to put it in your waterline anyway, but if you are going to, you want it to be nice and soft and to be gentle. But to show some colour um, but it really lasts well and it doesn't you can see I've had this on for a good couple of hours because let me tell you setting up today's film it was a bit of a nightmare but I've had it on for a few hours and it, you know there's none in the corner of my eyes it just seems to disappear you know it doesn't like go underneath it doesn't smudge it just stays put so far and I've worn this probably for the last week and a half I've used it in my upper waterline um, today's the first is it the first? No, it's the second day I've used it in my bottom waterline. So also impressed with that. Then on to, I bought this bronzer. This is Luminous Bronzer in Sunrise L1. And I thought that this looked like, very much like the Hourglass Bronzer. Now I don't have any of them left. I did have both colours and I initially immediately sold one of them because it wasn't the right color for me and then I kept trying to love the other one and it was just too orange but when I was looking at this color I just thought this looks very it actually looks more like a contour color doesn't it you know it's very neutral it's not orange but I have got this on today and so you know hopefully it does give me a bit of color um but it's not too orange but I do think it looks very much like the the hourglass one let me give you a swatch I think when you look at it like that it does look like a contour colour. And not so much when I put it on there, it looks a bit warmer there, doesn't it? Um, but this, again, I really like it. I think I need to find the right brush to use with this because the one I'm using is the Morphe one that's kind of tapered and I think you maybe need one that's a, a bit more even. Otherwise, like, 
how to explain it let me get a brush this is just my explanation by the way remember I'm not a makeup artist and I often get things very wrong you know you'll see me with lashes hanging off and all sorts in the last video I noticed I had a big patch on my lip <laughs> missing of lipstick but I think when I use a brush like this you could get some of the darker color on one bit of the brush and then some of the lighter color on the other and when you apply it then it's maybe going to go a bit patchy i think it's better to use not this brush because this is better for foundation but a flatter type brush you know or a rounded big um fluffy bronzer type brush so that you can mix it together like that and then put it on but um apart from that i really really like it i haven't noticed it fading patchy which does sometimes happen to me um the Too Faced Milk Chocolate, for example, I absolutely love that bronzer, but it always, in the middle of the day, it's so bizarre. It's like there's a line here. It's like somebody's just, it's like I've been crying, you know, and there's a line and it just has broken up and split and it doesn't look, look very good. So I do like this. The only thing I would say is I don't love this plastic packaging. Um, I don't know whether it's because it reminds me of the Revolution packaging. And, you know, obviously Revolution is a lot less expensive than this. I, I just think it's very cheap feeling and it's also quite bulky you know how I always say like that could be a lot thinner um and it feels like I don't know whether this will break you know one of those where the lid will this bit will break I don't know I just I'm not not in love with that packaging but other than that I do really enjoy that so that will definitely be a bronzer that I'm keeping and then finally a blush the one I bought is in Sweet Pea that's what I've got on today and I really love this really really love this so this is a lot slicker it is the same plastic packaging but because that top is thinner than this let me show you you can see how thick that is compared to that it just somehow feels a bit sturdier or maybe it's just because I prefer it I don't know it it doesn't feel quite so flimsy I still don't love this you know plastic packaging but it's okay but I really really like this blusher and I have been trying to find blushes for quite some time because I've got about say 10 blushes and a lot of them you can't buy anymore so a lot of videos I'll be telling you my blush like my Urban Decay um, 8 hour blush in Rapture you can't buy it anymore and this is a very very similar color actually it's not quite as dark but I'll buy colors that I think look like they might be a good blush say from Kika whatever and just don't love them on but this is really pretty and when I showed you me wearing this um, in another picture on Instagram you guys liked it as well but it's just the right amount of pigment you know it's not um it's not too powdery but it's not you don't need to keep on going in to to get the blush to build up it doesn't seem to go on too patchy you know because like I said I'm not very good at applying blush and it often blush does look patchy on me because of me not applying it correctly but when you get a good blush it seems to help you out you know and this one does that you know I feel like oh yeah that's not too bad at all you know um and I think it's a this one this sweet pea one is a really pretty kind of go with everything color because it's that sort of dusty pink color I will definitely pick up another couple of blushes when I am next in Edinburgh goodness knows when that will be because I I usually go to meet my friend for lunch and we can't do that at the moment because of the whole lockdown thing <laughs> um but yeah I like this it's it lasts it seems to last you know it doesn't fade nothing bad to say about that at all really really like it so that's everything those are the four things that I bought from Flower Beauty um I would love to try one of the foundations they've got two I think maybe even more but I, I definitely saw two but of course it's so difficult because I hadn't looked up the colors you know it was something I just came across in Superdrug so I need to really have a watch of some reviews and see is the lightest color really light because so, some some brands you'll buy the lightest color and it's not the light you know it's not that pale um so I don't think I can risk it. There wasn't a good enough lighting in the shop to be able to see. So I need to do a bit of research and see what the foundations are all about. And I might try one of those. Um, like I said, I'll definitely pick up another blush and maybe another of those, the, the eyeshadows, because they are really nice. And I do love a cream eyeshadow or a liquid eyeshadow, you know. I think I love them because you can use, you can do a whole eyeshadow look. And then if it doesn't pop or you just are not enjoying it, you can just bung something like this on top and it really shows up whereas if you put another powder on top it wouldn't necessarily show up you know that's what I do if I do a look that I don't like I'm like right let me go and grab a cream eyeshadow and put it on top um I, I think somebody said to me that the mascara was good I just didn't like the look of the brush I think it was a plastic one and 
I didn't fancy it but maybe I should try it tell me if anybody's tried it and you, you think it's good and um, I will pick it up next time short and sweet but I am actually going to be trying to do my videos a little bit shorter just for now because editing and sitting filming it seems to be really aggravating my neck I'm having a big problem with my headaches lately so um, I've got a few things lined up to potentially help like um, Botox and I've ordered this machine called a Cephaly which is like tens and all sorts but for now doing shorter videos is helpful you know do you know what's really interesting there I've just used just a tissue to wipe off the blush and bronze off my hand and that has come off that the glitter eyeshadow all the glitter has come off and the eyeshadow has stayed isn't that interesting <laughs> because it doesn't you know you would think in that case that it would just fall off onto my face but like I said it hasn't actually done that on me I haven't noticed that at all um, Right, let me tell you what I've got on. You know the eyeshadow, obviously. Um, the other palette I used it with, it was just the Morphe 18T palette. Um, you know my bronze, you know my blush. Foundation, what foundation did I use? I used my Hourglass Stick Foundation in Shell. Um, on my lips, I used the Stila Liquid Lipstick in Holy Chic. And then I used my CYO lips, Lip Gloss on top. And that's everything. Thank you so much for watching today, and I'll speak to you again soon.